completely fails. Now somewhere by the time 27th day or 26th day or 28th day is coming, you can see the level starts coming down. Now the reason is but the egg after fertile, uh, the egg after or uh, secondary oocyte after its release can only wait for one day maximum two days inside the fallopian tube for the fertilization to occur. So uh, it can only wait for few days, and then uh, once fertilization takes place, the pregnancy has to be ensured. To ensure pregnancy, corpus luteum has to stay because uh, main hormone for pregnancy is progesterone. So progesterone level has to remain high if there has to be a successful pregnancy and progesterone will ensure that endometrium remains sick and continue to release secretion. So uh, if there is no pregnancy then what will happen? The level of progesterone starts coming down. Reason is what? The level of LH will start coming down. As the level of LH starts coming down, you can see it's coming down again. So a decreasing level of LH will cause the breakdown of the corpus luteum. NCRT is calling it as regression of the corpus luteum. So breakdown of the corpus luteum will cause decrease in the level of the progesterone. As the level of the progesterone decreases, there is the sh shedding or breakdown of the endometrium again going to start and that will start a new cycle once again. So I hope this topic is getting clear to you. Please remember, uh, if it is asked, the date for the ovulation can change shift uh, in front or in backward manner. But please remember that the luteal phase is always for 14 days. So because there are some numericals which you will find in your MCQs and all. So the luteal phase uh, days are fixed and that is always 14 days. So this is all about the menstrual cycle. Please remember this process starts when a female enters puberty and first time when it happens it is called as menarche. Menarche means actually menorrhea is the word. The menorrhea word means uh, see uh, menorrhea means a normal menstrual cycle. A menorrhea means abnormal menstrual cycle or you can say absence of the menstrual cycle and in the same manner there is one more word and that is dysmenorrhea. Dysmenorrhea means painful uh, menstrual cycle then metro uh, then there can be uh, painful and then there can be excessive flow of the blood also possible. Sometimes the uh, periods become irregular. This all is possible as the female undergoes development in her reproductive phase of life. So I hope these topics are getting clear. And just remember, there are students I have seen, they make mistakes with these names. Proliferative phase is called proliferative phase because there is the repair or growth of the endometrium of uterus. And secretory phase is called secretory phase not because progesterone is secreted, but because progesterone causes the release of nutritive secretion from the endometrium. If you can see, I have written a note here, uterine milk. I think it's clear to you. Uterine milk means it's a secretion which comes out from uterus and that uterus layer is endometrium. So this uh, liquid is called milk and it is rich in iron, it is rich in fat soluble vitamins. So it is responsible a lot for the nourishment because beginning there is no placenta. So nutrition has to be secreted out from the wall of the fallopian tube as well as the wall of the uterus. That's why initial time nutrition is given in the form of secretion. That secretion is called as the uterine milk. I hope this whole lecture is clear to you. We will continue with this. I will be revising a little bit of this and then we will move over to the fertilization topic.